back on the Dale Chanel Sports World Show featuring the Family Affair. We are back and we got news to report. All of it's gossip news, so don't get your panties all in a bunch, okay? We're just reporting and talking about whatever, whenever, and however, okay? That's all we're talking about, people, okay? So like I said, just sit back, relax, and just enjoy the conversation we are having with one another. I get this commentary from Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Yes, signed by Brenda Alexander. She bought it out on May 8th. And uh, I'm a little late getting to it. But you know, that's how we do it. Nothing's late. It's always delayed. That's all. That's delayed. So we're coming in. We're showing up and showing out. We got this report of an article, like I said, by Showbiz Cheat Sheet. It's titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta Phaedra Parks Reportedly in Talks to Return. Okay. Canterbury said to be furious. All right, now, that was just highlight of the day. That's tea to be talked about, okay? Because now we're going to see if Canterbury is true to what she say or she just full of shit. Because, you know, she said if... Phaedra come back, she won't be there. Okay? She's going to be exiting. So, we're going to see how strong she takes her um, her dialogue she put out there for us. Is she going to be true to her statement? Okay? That's all I'm saying. Are you going to walk, Candy? Are you going to walk when Miss Phaedra Parks come back? Are you going to walk, girl? Are you going to stand in your shit and try to defend your little section of being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Okay? Because we know all your little digs you got was because of being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, I'm not going to say Miss Phaedra Parks' return is going to be where she hooks up with Portia and Nene. Or she's going to try to ride this train by herself and just slay and she go alone, okay? She's going to be a one-woman show. I don't know. But I'm like, bring Phaedra back. Thank you for being in talks with Phaedra. And Phaedra, if you get paid 500000 just for this season of coming back, honey, get that 500000 come back, show out, and I'm sure it'll be a million <laughs> for next season, all right? Because we need you back, honey. Season 13 need to have Phaedra Parks all up in it, Okay. But anyway, let's get to this article. It said, one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's most beloved cast members of fans is the witty Phaedra Pauls. The lawyer turned reality star kept fans entertained with her ability to shade her co-stars without warning and her knack for lavish living. But Park's time on the show came to an abrupt end after she was found guilty of spreading a vicious rumor about her former BFF Candy Burris. Now to me it seemed like it's a setup. <laughs> it's a setup allegedly. Just my pun intended, just my insight of looking and viewing the situation. Candy made such a big fuss about this ruining her reputation. This could be detrimental to her brand. Da da dee da 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 and, you know, they were like, no, we need her off the show. She shouldn't have did this. Don't nobody really want to film with her. Because we don't know where she may go next time. So, it was all hoopla there. They got rid of Phaedra, got rid of Carlos King and all that stuff. And, what did uh, Candy Burst do? She turned around and made money off the same thing that she felt would have defamed her character Tarnished her brand, put her out of business, this, that, and the third. So she gonna go do that, okay, and make profit off it. Barbara will probably talk to their lawyers and say, "Do we have a case? Can we bring Phaedra Parks back? Because we think that would uh, definitely raise our ratings throughout the roof. We can um, demote some people that really haven't been giving it to us, such as Cynthia and uh, Eva. But if anybody had to go or be demoted, I would say put Eva first. Uh, because like I said, Cynthia is very good to film with. She's really never in trouble with anybody. They tried to give her this little power of her trying to be a bad person, but it's just not in her. Okay. And Phaedra Parks with Apollo being out too. And Apollo trying to jump and say Candy had, uh, did him in, had did wrong by him. It's the perfect setup for Raiders to go through the roof. Yes, bring Phaedra Paul back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and let the drama begin between Apollo Phaedra and Candy Burris. Okay, because we know Todd ain't going to do shit. He ain't doing shit now. He ain't talking about shit. You know, and Apollo definitely been out there saying Candy rolled over on him. You know, uh, blasted him out and made him pretty much go to jail. Or had, you know, uh, 
information or evidence that she was keeping you know uh things stored away for apollo but that wasn't you know necessarily that was uh todd involvement as well so let's not forget him let's not just throw candy under the bus but then again apollo you think anybody gonna go to jail for your misdeeds honey you think they really gonna save your assets as you see it till you get out of jail and throw them on the mercy of the court for hiding stuff for you are you kidding me they got a family too apollo so man you need to sit down with that shit but good drama okay that you want to bring and it seems like you anxious to probably try to get back on the show a little part to get you a little money here and there and uh using phaser parts all the way but again she wants to be on the show too so she might not mind the camaraderie of teaming up with you i don't know how they're spending it but it seemed like candy bit off more she could chew they let her go in that gray area she surpassed and made money so she really don't have in my eyes a claim to say phaedra can't come back you know what i'm saying because you made something uh out of something you said that really hurt you and you made money off of it okay so it just is what it is. I'm bringing Phaedra Parks back. Thank you. But going back to the article, it says Phaedra Parks was fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta after it was discovered that she spread a damaging rumor about Candy Burris. Uh, the season nine reunion of the Real Housewives of Atlanta revealed that bombshell that Parks was behind the spread of a rumor regarding Burris' planning to drug and sexually assault Portia Williams. Parks and Burris were previously close friends, both on and off the show, but their friendship deteriorated after Parks felt betrayed by Burris after her husband was sent to prison. Parks did not feel that Burris was supportive of her, and Burris shot back with claims that Parks never versed, voiced her concerns. Their fallout played throughout the season and came to a head after Williams revealed the rumor but never told Burris of the source. It wasn't until Burris hit Williams with a cease and desist letter that Williams dropped the bomb that Parks was the culprit. Parks apologized for the de uh, but denied that she heard Burr's alleged plan. Instead, Parks claimed that she herself repeated a rumor she heard from someone else. Parks was not asked to return to the series as a result. Okay. Uh, Andy Cohen later explained that Parks was given the axe. The question that we look at now with Phaedra is when the reunion ended, none of the other women wanted to have anything to do with her. So that's what you have to look at, he said, as reported by E! News. How do you shoot a show about a group of friends when no one is speaking to the one, no one is speaking to one of the friends? Um, then it says Burroughs had said before she will quit the show, Burris had said before that she will quit the show if Parks returns. When asked during an interview with The Breakfast Club if rumors were true that she'll leave the franchise over Parks returning, Burris confirmed that she would. And I'm like, okay, Burris. Okay, Burris. It seems like they are bringing it to your doorstep. Then it goes on to say, that was just my side. Barbara going back to the article. It said, well, technically, yeah, she said about the rumors. At the end of the day, they said I called Bravo and said that. No, I did not call Bravo to tell them that. Did I say that to anybody? Yes, I did. It looks like Burris may have to prove that she'll give up her peach for good if Park is back in the picture as reports have surfaced that Bravo is in talks to bring Phaedra Parks back after missing in action for three seasons. Okay? The Sun is reporting that with Real Housewives of Atlanta being the highest rated Housewives franchise, they are contemplating bringing Parks back and she is interested. Burris is said to be pissed off about the decision. Okay, Burris told um, People Magazine in 2019 that her remaining on the franchise would be jeopardized by Park's return. You know, for me, it's like, if that's what they want to do, I'm fine, I'm cool, but I just won't be a part of that, she said at the time. Previously reported surfaced that Cynthia Bailey was being demoted to be a B-type cast member. And now it's assumed that Parks is taking Bailey's full-time position. Okay? P Parks have expressed that she's happy with her life off of the show, but is open to returning. She was a full-time cast member from seasons 3 to 9. The Sun reported that they reached out to Bravo for comment, but have not heard back from the network regarding the news. 
okay? And I'm like, yeah, they ain't reached out to Bravo because Bravo know they are trying to set it up in motion to bring Phaedra Pauls back. And that would definitely bring, you know, Candy Burris to look like a complete idiot and fool if she stays on the show after she blatantly said, you know, Bravo can do what they want to do, but I know what I'm going to do. So if they bring her back, I'm bouncing. Okay. And she does have this spinoff that's coming uh, out uh, seemingly something similar to uh, Tardy for the Party, Kim Zosiak. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's why her uh exit is gonna be where she spins off and hopefully make a nice move and everything works out with her having her own show don't know how that gonna really play out because like i said candace is really not that of an interesting person to watch however her family members would definitely get the ratings but i mean are they going to get tired? Is Candy going to cut them off a piece of that check? You know, because people, you know, they feel like they're helping you with your storyline. They're going to want to get paid, okay? And it don't have to be Robbo paying them, but it, it better be you. So, is Todd going to be cool with that? You know? <laughs> or she going to be, are we going to be seeing Todd act up more for the negative when they're totally having their own show together? We will see. It's still being set in motion. But I'm like, honey, what Apollo being out of jail, him calling himself getting married and, you know, him having to have to be with the boys. You know, I'm sure Phaedra is going to work up all that. Yes, this bring all this stuff. And then I can tear into Apollo's so-called fiance wife. Why they ain't got married? It, it, they should have been married by now. He's out. He's clear of the charges. He don't did his time. What's holding them up? Child, please. You know how fast you can play this mess. And then come back for her nemesis, Kenya Moore, who flirted with her husband, Apollo. Oh, honey. The magnitude of different storylines Phaedra Park can bring to Bravo. Child. And we know she's been out there on social media. She's anxious to get back into the um, reality um scene show scene honey woo because she did make her presence known and phaedra would have probably still been on the show if this didn't cut up the way it did um but her by her piggyback on another rumor that somebody said meaning carlos king allegedly had put out and she just tried to carry that bone but it made both of them uh look very bad in social media and on their platform where they had to be let go but like i said it does have settled people have moved on people have definitely made a lot of wealth for themselves many canterbury so it's really trying to see it's 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 her mouth where her money is it's her money where her mouth is in a sense what's gonna be that's what we want to know. What's going to be? What it, what it going to be? But that's all I have for this particular uh, outlet of a salacious, slanderous type of story. That cheat sheet, um, showbiz cheat sheet put out by the way of Brenda Alexander being the journalist of this particular article. Will it come true? Does it have some type of... <laughs> How we could they have some type of uh, validity to it? Okay, we'll see. We'll keep watching and we'll keep reporting, as you know, only I can do in my special way with my family. Okay, but y'all be good, y'all be nice to one another, and I will see y'all next video. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. All right, pieces and deuces.